Hey everybody, Ruan here from Tunnel Vision TV and today I'm going to show you guys the basics of Mass Effects in 3ds Max. Alright, so I'm using 3ds Max 2014. So before I start, I just want to show you guys how to set up the toolbars for Mass Effects. So here at the top, if you right click, uh, make sure you click Mass Effects Toolbar and that will give you access to the toolbar here at the top. And another thing that you want to do is go to Animation, go to Mass Effects, then Utilities, Show Mass Effects Tools, and this will give you the sidebar, and we're going to dock this here on the side, so just drag it here and then Release. That will just give you access to all the controls, uh, these four tabs here that we will use uh, quite a lot. So what you want to do first is we're going to create a box and just draw out a basic uh, floor shape like that. And next what we want to do is we want to create some basic cube shapes like that. And we're just going to make them 10 by 10 by 10. So we've got perfect cubes. And with a move tool, we're going to duplicate them. So hold in shift and move them to the side, release, and make sure you select copy, then click on OK. And then we're going to select both these cubes, do the same. So hold in shift, duplicate them, click copy and OK. And we're going to do the same again. So we've got about eight cubes going across. Okay, then what you want to do is select all these cubes, hold in shift and duplicate them on the Y, click copy, then OK. And then one more time, like that. Okay, then what you want to do next is select everything and then deselecting the floor by holding in Alt and clicking on the floor. Hold in shift and duplicate them on the Z axis, like that. And then maybe just once more, like that. Okay, next up what you want to do is you want to select all these cubes. So just do a like a big selection of everything. Deselect the floor again by holding an Alt. And then we're going to create a selection set. So here at the top by this drop down, just type in boxes and press enter. That will basically save a selection set. So if you don't have anything selected on the screen, click on the drop down and click on boxes. It will only select those items that you saved in that uh, selection set, which is really handy uh, when using 3ds Max. Okay, so now we want to tell Mass Effects that these cubes will be dynamic objects. So that means they will have um, they will be affected by gravity or any other physics. So with them selected, you're going to go to the Mass Effects toolbar here at the top, and on the first button, the little ball dropping here. If you're holding on that, it will give you three options. Um, it will give you static, kinematic, and dynamic. So we will make these cubes dynamic. So click on dynamic there. And while we add it, we can select the floor, go back to that, hold it in, and select static rigid body for the floor. Okay, let's make the floor a little bit bigger. So click on the floor, make sure box is selected. And let's just drag this out so it's a little bit bigger. Maybe like that. And as you can see, it's not updating the mass effects area on that box so what you want to do is go to with that floor selected go to the third tab on your mass effects toolbar here on the side and then just change the mesh type to original and that will actually make it the size of the floor okay so let's just play this uh, physics simulation back so if you click on the little play button here at the top on the mass effects toolbar you'll see the boxes will just drop down Okay, let's stop that by clicking on the play again and reset the simulation by clicking on this button here. Okay, so next up we're going to create a simple sphere. So just drag a sphere out here. Let's move it up a little bit and then we're going to move it back. So now we're going to create a simple animation of the ball going through these objects. So with the ball selected, click on auto key and let's go to frame 50 and then just drag the ball through to the other side and deselect auto key that will just create a simple animation like that okay so if we play this back now nothing will happen because we didn't tell mass effects um, that this ball is actually a kinematic object so with the ball selected you're going to go to the ball on the mass effects toolbar and select kinematic rigid body all right so now if we click the play button you'll see you've got a nice uh, physics simulation going on there let's just check that out again Okay, so something you can see here that's a little bit weird, these boxes, they don't actually fall off from the floor. 
So if we go to the first tab here on the side on the Mass FX toolbar, untick this Use Ground Collision. Okay, so let's reset that simulation and let's play it back again. Now you'll see that it will actually drop off from this floor area. So that's perfect. Let's stop that and reset that. Okay, what we're going to do next is we're going to place a bomb object just below these cubes. And then maybe after around, let's say about 50 frames, we want that bomb to explode. And then all the boxes should go up into the air. So let's try that out. So on the create toolbar, go to our space warps and then forces and click on P bomb. And we're going to create the bomb right here in the middle. And on that bomb properties, um, there's some things you have to change here. So the start time, we want to make that say, let's say about 55, that's frame 55. And let's change the strength to, let's start at about 15 maybe. Okay, so now if we play the uh, simulation back, nothing is going to happen. So with Mass FX, you need to uh, specify the objects that will be um, affected by a certain force. So we've saved the selection set for the boxes. So we're going to click that. And then in Mass FX on the side here, we're going to click on the third tab, the multi-object editor. You'll see there's a forces box here. We're going to click on add and we're going to select the bomb. So click on the bomb. And this will actually tell Mass FX that these objects will be affected by this force in the scene. All right, so let's play that back again. Okay, there you can see it actually something happened there. So I'm going to select the bomb again and I'm going to move it down a little bit. Let's place it kind of underneath these boxes and let's change the strength to, let's change it to about 30. All right, let's play the simulation back again. And there we go. We've got a bomb exploding under these boxes and you can see that it's actually uh, exploding them right into the air. So another thing that you can change is the physical material of these objects. So if we select our boxes and go to the third tab here on the side, um, you can actually set your physical material to cardboard, concrete, uh, rubber, etc., steel. So let's change this to concrete maybe. Um, these are just presets, so you can actually set your own custom values here at the bottom. But for now, I'm just going to use one of these presets. And let's simulate that again. Okay, now because we set them as uh, concrete, you can see the bomb is not really affecting it anymore. So let's go back to the bomb settings. I'm just going to go to my selection list here, select the bomb, and let's change the strength to around 500. Let's play that back again. And there we go. All right, so once you're happy with your simulation, we need to bake it. So you on the side, go to the second tab and you'll see it says bake all click on that and basically um, max will then uh, create keyframes for every object in your scene and now if you scrub through it you'll see that the animation is actually baked in and yeah it's you've got some keyframes to work with so next up let's say you want to play this back in slow motion because currently it looks okay but i think slow motion will actually look a little bit better what you need to do is come down here to the side to time configuration and currently it's set to NTSC which is 30 frames per second and we're going to change this to custom and let's give it a frame rate of 960 and then very importantly make sure your playback real time is unticked and then click on OK. OK and that will change your simulation into a slow motion simulation. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I really wanted to show the basics of Mass Effects first. Um, my next tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to demolish a building. So you have to understand the basics of uh, Mass Effects first before we dive into something a little bit more complicated. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Please subscribe if you want to see uh, next week's tutorial. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.